If you're on version 2021 or above, for GTA materials to work, set to max legacy and restart 3 DS Max. Import some background objects for reference. In my case, I'll use quarry underscore bit 04. For the light emitter itself, import the construction light pole VGS ECNS TRCT08. Importing models with standard materials will help prevent some viewport display issues. I am going to create the volume light with the help of the pole mesh. As we won't see the capped polygon, we are fine to delete it. The texture is going to be driven by a checker map and vertex illumination for coloring. The transparencies are driven by vertex alpha. I will use shrink wrap as projection type, but you are welcome to explore other projection types for other creative results. For this guide, I will be using the UV scroll shader that was taught in the valley guide. The UV scroll effect shown in the video doesn't transfer to the game. For that, we will need to use the UV scroll shader linked in description. In order for the game to see this texture, we'll need to generate an image based off the checker map. This volume light won't need collision properties, only collision boundaries, which we can generate in Steve M's collision editor.
The texture can be compressed in DXT1 without MIP mapping. In order for the object to only appear during nighttime, you will need to do some scripting in MTA. For best results, enable double-sided flag in MTA. The colors and transparency levels shown in this video are only a reference and may not be accurate depending on which weather is selected in the game.